This time I mentioned tips for beginner magicians. Let's do this. Alright, so before we start, I'd like to get a little thing out of the way, I guess. So, if you're wondering where I was while I was gone, there's this video down on um, Prisoner TV's channel in my description box down below that'll, it's a little skit that we did basically to explain what I did while I was gone. And there's also, I, a while ago, I made this silly game and there's this person who also decided to do a gameplay of it, so I'd like to link that down below as well. So if you're interested in either of those things, they're down below. So let's get on to it. Alright, so the biggest problem that I see a lot of beginners do when they're performing magic is I see, I notice that they aren't entirely confident with their techniques. So what they do is they kind of give it away too easily that they aren't confident and they give stuff away because they aren't confident in their techniques and they are super obvious when they're about to do a move. The spectator doesn't know when you're going to do something suspicious so you don't have to make it completely obvious when you are. So if you aren't confident with a technique, try to pretend you're confident with that technique and it'll be a lot smoother and a lot harder to figure out. The other thing is I feel like a lot of... because of the same reason, because you're not very confident with your techniques, I find that a lot of the time a lot of beginners tend to be keeping their eyes completely on their hands or whatever they're doing to perform the trick, usually your hands. So they usually are like looking kind of like this, where like they aren't really concentrating on anything else, not having eye contact, asking the spectators questions, that kind of thing. They're just kind of making it really, you know, they're just always looking at the cards and not making it as engaging. And the other thing is, if you're always looking at your cards, first of all, it's not going to be as engaging. And the second thing is it's going to be a lot easier to catch on to some of the techniques you do. Because usually when you're using misdirection, when you're doing a sneaky move, a lot of the time, in order to make it less figure outable, that's not really a word, but I use it all the time, figure outable, usually what you would do is you would ask the spectator a question or say something while you're doing the move down below in order to make it less noticeable, I guess. Usually a lot of beginners feel the need to copy other performance styles that they see, usually on like the, on YouTube maybe, because this is YouTube, or like they saw on TV or somewhere, usually a lot of people or a lot of newer ones feel like they need to kind of copy a trend or style. The thing is, that's not true whatsoever. You want to do your kind of style, or otherwise it's going to look like you're directly copying somebody. And not only are you directly copying somebody, it's not really what you're good at, and it's not really yourself. And if you're not being yourself, then usually you just won't be as good. So I find you just want to try to do what you feel. The more you perform, you're going to find your performance style. That's the best way I can explain it. Well, that's pretty much it. If you like this content, subscribe down below to notify our future uploads. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. That's for now. I'll see you next time.